Mr. Odd, are you ready? I am ready. To inject the virus. I am. Is that a sex joke? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, I think I think you should address your fans. You have you have a lot of fans, Grillite. They're fans of Grillite. Hi. People are asking you if, if you have your own channel, and I keep saying, well, kind of. <laughs> kind of, but I don't upload videos. So, does that count? I guess not. Well, I uploaded one video it's recently. It's a minute long. It's in Dota. And, uh... So, can people expect more content from you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of en entering a, a busy point in my life. School. Where I'm going to university, doing um, big projects and stuff. Yeah, I hear ya. So tell me about this project that you're working on. So, um, well, I'm, I'm yet to be assigned a project. We get to choose between two projects, or rather, we get to choose a preference and I'll be assigned one of them. Okay, um, like, uh, this is computer programming? This is computer science. Okay. Uh, with, uh, specializing in game technology. I see. So we have to choose between two uh, games to develop. Like genres? No, we have to, like, uh, we have got, um, an, uh, what's it called? A, a client who has a, a real life client who has an assignment for a team. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this is like a project that, a uh, product that actually gets put to work. Or, uh, oh, okay. Like, actually put out there if it if it works properly. So it's almost like a work term, in a sense. Kind of like that. That's cool. We'll get, um, yeah. And is we'll this like a pass-fail class? Or, university. or how does it work? How, do your, how does your grade work? Uh, it's based on all sorts of things we have to do. We also have to make, like, trailers and logbooks and everything we do we have to track. And we have to do, of course, a lot of work on it. And who's grading you? The professor or the company that's hired Ultimately, you guys? Ultimately, it's going to be the professor grading us. But it's also based on the, how uh, satisfied the customer is. I see. So the two projects I can choose from are... Uh, one is for uh, learning how... To, of, uh, teaching young children how to read. Oh shit, that's For kids tough. who don't know how to read yet. You'd be good at that with all your English Nazi-isms. <laughs> it's probably gonna be in Dutch. And the other is, um... One that teaches people how to communicate better. Uh... Adults. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know where to... And you have to come up with a concept and everything? You have to come up... I don't know exactly what the, uh... What it's gonna be like. Yeah. We'll have to, like, ask questions to the, uh, person giving the assignment to us. So this is a company that wants details. a game developed, but they don't have- they don't know what they want. They want you guys to come up with pretty much everything? I don't know how- how far that goes yet. Okay. Would you end up getting, like, profits from this game that they would eventually sell if it does well? We've had talk about legal stuff. So yeah. eventually, all the rights are owned by the university. I see. And any profits made by the company um, who owns the product, who are making it, who are, who are developing it for, will get it. Unless they want to expand it to something that it wasn't initially designed for. Right. Yeah, okay. Then um, all parties involved will get their share. Oh, that's cool. So, like, as an example, if you if your game, somebody, some company like Valve, some or company like up, thinks, oh, I'm I'm gonna sell this to Ubisoft because it's a great idea. Right. Then everyone then gets the money for that. They would come back to you guys even and say, like the students really who worked on it, the university, and and uh, ultimately the person who gave the assignment. Right. Okay. And make the commission. That's really cool. And so, you, do you pick your groups? We don't. 
Uh, that's like tough. there's certain people who follow this course right now, and then uh, they have to give like a preference for the project, and then we get assigned to one of the projects. I'm trying to run this guy over, and he's just being a dick. Die already! Where am I? I'm like tripping out over here. How are you doing? I'm not sure exactly. I really need to buy some sweeter guns. The only cool gun I have is dubstep. Oh right, dubstep. I need to kill shit with this. Whoa, blast radius. Look, like, you're making it rain out here. Yeah. Is that because of an upgrade or what? Well, I fully upgrade the dubstep gun. Oh, of course you did. So for those for people wondering, Grelite has found literally every cluster. And I went and hacked all the stores because that sucked. That Especially, was I can only it became, imagine it became a chore, and that's it, not something you want. No, exactly. And so I was kinda thinking, well, instead of having you guys watch me hack stuff, I'll just get it done. Alright. Finally. So officially, I've hacked like 37 out of 34 stores. I don't know how that's possible, but that's what it is. Totally a thing. Okay, let's so, go meet Kinsey. Yes, let's go meet Fantastic. Kinsey. See you back here. Start objective. And so, wait, okay, so in your game, you're creating it start to finish. From idea to fully developed concept to fully playable game. I imagine. Wow. And you get docked marks if there's like bugs and stuff, I imagine? <laughs> well, I imagine if there's bugs, the client isn't gonna be happy. Well, but I mean, every game has bugs. You know? It just depends how Isn't that a they bad are. thing that you expect bugs to be there and you don't oh, mind? Oh, it's totally bad. I'm it's not, I don't here. mind them. It's not that I don't mind them, it's that uh, I'm just wondering how that works. You know? Speaking of bugs, did you see in XCOM when Wagger got killed? That wasn't a bug. Yes, it was. Aliens shoot through walls all the time. Yeah, so that's soldiers. bullshit. Where's Kinsey? Why is it taking me to this guy? Oh, were you just talking to Kinsey? Yeah. Damn it. She didn't say much. Yeah, she never does. Did you bang her? No. Oh, she was right in front of me the whole time. Uh, what's next? New quests? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna do a main, uh, quest right now. Actually. What? What? That's weird. When I was, uh, doing this thing alone, it's- the main quest always described it as getting gat. We're doing the, uh, shutting down a hotspot. And then me meeting Matt on the ship. Alright. I guess that's a side quest. Yeah. We'll Can just- because it's only two things, so. Stones? I'd like to see how things react and to it's just a hot spot. It's not much. Let's see. Gateway. The church. So if Grelite was to start his own channel and actually do things on it once in a while, what, what kind of stuff would you do? What would Grelite- um, if I, in an YouTube ideal world, like. I'd like, um, I'd do something close to, like, just dicking around and analyzing games in a kind of a weird way. Like, what do you mean? Um, I was thinking of doing, like, um, a series in Just Cause 2 where I would try to explain why certain things happened in Just Cause 2 using made-up physics of the world. <laughs> okay. For instance, um, For instance, when you uh, shoot a certain barrel, like, fire comes out of it, and then after a few seconds, it explodes. Okay. I'm like, that, that doesn't really make sense. You'd think, like, the... Sure, you've, you could say, like, oh, the, uh, the air gas mixture reaches a certain critical point at which it explodes. What you could say is 
there are certain <laughs> molecules in the air uh -huh. that, that only appear in Just Cause 2, which are basically action molecules. And if you are a total badass action hero, then you action can trigger molecules? these action heroes and explosions happen everywhere. Oh my god. I would watch that, because I have no clue what you're talking about. Maintenance shield at 66%. The problem is I nitpick, and I nitpick at my own ideas, and then I find out that my own ideas are flawed because they aren't perfectly logical, of course, because I'm talking about bullshit, yeah. <laughs> and then I don't do it. Because I'm talking about bullshit. Because they're not perfectly logical in sequence. I was, honestly, I was waiting for you to say, like, you were going to start a Minecraft channel or something. Actually, I would do Minecraft. Probably. No. You can't. You can't. It's, you're not I should. Anymore. You know, okay, I'm gonna... So, people ask me this question. I get I get a message probably once a day about people saying, um, you know, I want to start a channel. I, I, want, I want my channel to grow. Do you have any advice? And this, is, this might sound rude, so I'm gonna try not to sound rude, but... Right? Every time that somebody sends me that message, I go and I look at their channel. Every time, right? Because I, because I'm a nice guy and I'm doing Minecraft. I'll try to help if I can. But every single time, no, 90% of the time, they're doing perfect. Minecraft, and it's and it's it's just like it's nothing different in Minecraft. It's the whole um, I'm just gonna like build a house. And I'm going to, like, find some foods. And, like, you're doing, like, the regular Minecraft stuff, you know? Yeah. And I, I just don't feel watch that bad. much Minecraft anymore, so, you know. And I don't play it. I'm probably going to be playing it more once the new update comes out. So, Which, yeah, anyways. Yeah. To, to those people, and to you, really. If <laughs> I'm gonna, not going to do Minecraft. If you're going to do it... A, a, videos do minecraft if you really like minecraft there's nothing wrong with it but you have to think okay if your goal is to have a channel that people actually watch you kind of have to you have to stand out in a bit in a way somehow yeah and, i was and, thinking of that i was i was thinking if i was gonna start a minecraft series it would have to be different somehow and i was trying to think of like how i could make it different mind keeping any security and there were yeah. a few ways I thought of. But 100%. They, weren't, they would <laughs> take a lot of work. And again, they were in Minecraft. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a couple of really good Minecraft uh, people out there. Sure. Uh, one of them is um, Paul Soros Jr. You probably heard of him. Yeah, you mentioned him several times. He's he's really he's really good. I like him. He's an older guy. What does guy. he do in Minecraft? Uh, he was responsible for this, like, your first night in Minecraft video. And then David X, XY, XR, X264, something like that. I don't know. People I don't know. I don't know. He's a, re a really large channel and a really good guy, it seems. Um, but he got his inspiration from Minecraft and started this, like, how to survive your first night in Minecraft series, which, like, blew up. And, uh... And I actually, when I was first getting into, like, YouTube, and by getting into YouTube, I mean, like, oh, there's video games on YouTube. That's cool. Uh, I would watch some of their videos, and it was really entertaining. And then I'd play Minecraft, and it wasn't fun for me at all. So I realized... I don't, I don't get joy out of playing Minecraft alone anymore. Yeah, I just realized I'd rather watch it than play it. If I play Minecraft, I really want to do it in, like, a group who would want to do, like, serious. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know how to describe that. I, I And I don't really know what I want. No, I hear you. I some I had a buddy... I'm, I'm kind of, like, not into Minecraft right now, I guess. Yeah. But were you into... Uh, what was that other one that came out? Cube World or something? Cube World? Oh, totally. Yeah? What happened There's to that? There's nothing like Minecraft. There's nothing to do with Minecraft. I know. It's, it's, it's like an RPG, right? right? It was really cool because it's like an open world RPG thing, especially the open world part. How do you, uh, oh, never mind. Because like, how do you melee attack again, but got it. 
I had a buddy, uh, he has a channel as well, Jeebus Platinum. Oh, right. Yeah. He was teaching me how to, uh, how to play Minecraft at one point. Him and his brother, I think, we got, I got into a server with them, and his brother was, like, really into it. And I was, uh, they were trying to tell me, like, go doing this and this, and it was kind of fun, but I was just doing it because I was, like, hanging out with them. I didn't get any enjoyment out of it at all. I think most people now are playing, like, on servers, doing special games with the new, uh, with, like, mods and commands and stuff. Okay. It still amazes me, though, because sometimes there'll be posts on Reddit of, of cities or, like, kingdoms or whatever that people have replicated. Like, somebody yeah. made the whole Game of Thrones. I haven't seen anyone make, like, a, um, an entertaining Minecraft video alone and in a long time. Yeah, I can I can. They're always with that. other people and doing team stuff. I can believe that. Oh, I thought this mission was going to be like relatively short, where we would go and do the one thing. But that aren't we done? No, now we have to kill the Zen troops. Oh, all right. But we're here before them. Are they dead? They're late. It does surprise me. Did, did we glitch the game again? There shouldn't. They must have got a poor grade for this game if there's a glitch in it. <laughs> uh. No. There's nothing here. Are you wubbing? Oh no, that's just my background. Background wubs. The background wubs. Clear out Zin troops. I'm here. Um. I don't see your objective on the map. Oh. No, no, it's, uh... Do I have to do anything with this tower? Like, do I have to activate it or something? Ow! Somebody just says, meet Matt on, Matt on the ship. I don't know. Really, starting a new quest. Yeah, I'm joining. Let's go to it. I think that's it. Got all the data I need. Right. Yeah, normally there's energy. like a bunch of Zin troops and you have to clear a mountain and the tower just turns blue because you kill them all. Right. But if they're not there, you, you can't do that. Now, oh, based on, on our discussion, I'm trying to think of, like, what would make a good Minecraft video. You know? But I think it's got to be, like, if you're going to do Minecraft, you have to do... I, videos I would watch are probably different from what other people would watch. But I would watch if somebody was like, okay, here's how to creatively construct some type of interesting-looking house. Or... Um... Like, I don't know, that kind of stuff. Like, build this cool thing in Minecraft. Thanks for the help with that. Yeah, I guess. At least now I don't feel like I'm flying blind here when it comes to Zin programming. Here's that upgrade for you. Though I know you love the outfit more. Of course I do, man. Paranormal bromance. Mind control. Oh, what? We got mind control. That's kind of cool. But yeah, um, you know Captain Sparkles? He's pretty big. Uh, no. I don't know a lot of these big YouTubers that people talk about. He's a, he's a really big channel, does Minecraft. Okay. So I started following him because he did redstone stuff. And that's like complicated uh, logic circuitry. He was building that in Minecraft, yeah? Yeah. But then he's, he stopped doing that kind of. You know, it's... Just doing like the survival and the... Uh, yeah. And the, and the PvP games. And now I don't really watch him anymore. It's one of I still have to clear out the Zin troops it's saying. Alright. Um Yeah, you know, I don't know, man. It's one of those things that it makes me think too, like, when your channel is so specialized in one thing, it's really easy to get caught in that trap, right? Where like just as you were saying, this guy that you're watching isn't doing Minecraft anymore, so you probably don't watch him. But if he does put out a Minecraft video, you'll watch it, right? Well, I'm not saying I would play any Minecraft videos he puts up. I'm saying I would um, watch like uh, more more in-depth Minecraft videos on like redstone circuitry and logic stuff. Right. Because I'm into that sort of thing. Right. Rather than the whole, oh, let's do more survival and PvP, which you already know because you've done it a billion times. <laughs> 